Hey Hillside. Well, I recently finished going through the book of Numbers, and in Numbers, the Israelites are moving around the desert, kind of all over the place, but the Lord's also speaking to them towards the end, and Moses knows it's towards the end of his life, um, but the God is instructing them about um, how they're going to end up moving into the promised land, and what to do when they do, and you know, we know Moses isn't going to go with them, but he's relaying these instructions through Moses, and sending up, you know, Joshua to take over, and so anyway, in this, <clears throat> towards the end here, the Lord is instructing them uh, about what to do when they do move into the land of Canaan. And the and God tells them that you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, destroy all their figured stones, and destroy all their metal images, and demolish all their high places. So God's saying, destroy it all, all their gods, their altars, their idols, all of that. We want nothing of that previous world, those previous inhabitants. And you are to go in and inherit it. And then he says a little later, But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then those whom you let remain shall be as barbs in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and they shall trouble you in the land where you dwell. And I will do to you as I thought to do to them. <clears throat> so this idea, if they don't follow this instruction, if they don't wipe it all out and they leave anything behind, those things are going to be barbs in their eyes, thorns in their sides are going to bother them. And I thought this is uh, a good imagery of for us when we move into from our old lives into our new lives. When we, um, sorry, we want to wipe out, tear down, destroy everything from the world from our previous life and instead let the new inhabitants, which is the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, His truths and His power, right? Let that dwell in the land instead in the territory. And so um, in this case, you know, our land, our territory is our bodies and our lives. And so, um, and the things that we don't will remain as barbs in our eyes and thorns in our sides. Those things that you've struggled with and keep coming up for you. And you think, man, why is this still coming up? This thorn in my side. And, um, and is it because there's something from your, from your previous life before God that you didn't wipe out, that you didn't destroy and tear down. And so it's a thorn in your side or a barb in your eye. And, you know, obviously in this life, we're still in the world. We're not going to be completely able. We're not, you know, going out destroying the inhabitants of the world, right? We're ministering to them. But in our, in our bodies, in our lives, we can get rid of as much as we can, right? And, um, even Paul, though, says, you know, later he invokes that same term, the thorn in my side. So, you know, as we go through this life, we can pull out some of those thorns, but there's always, there's so many of them, you know, there, things are going to remain, but um, we can we can look back at, okay, what maybe from my old life is, is causing this thorn in my side and how can I address it and, you know, ask the Lord to help me through it. And then we also know, you know, that once we get into eternity, that ultimate promised land that... We will be able to wipe it all out. We will have no thorns in our sides and barbs in our eyes, and we'll be able to just dwell in, in that land completely. So um, I guess that's my encouragement for you of, like, if you feel like you have a barb in your eye or a thorn in your side, examining, like, is there something from my life before God that I've let remain and then I need to get out of the land so that the Lord can dwell, you know, completely in it? And then also knowing that, uh, we are promised that in eternity we will be able to wipe out all of those things. So um, we'll see you next. That's all I got. And we'll see you next time, Hillside. <laughs>